Hey, everybody. I'd like to introduce, introduce myself. My name is uh, Daryl. Daryl Ayan. I work at the Office of Undergraduate Admissions in uh, Nova Southeast University. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about my story, uh, I was a Broward College student here back in the early 2000s. I got my associate's degree here. I was majoring in psychology. Uh, and then, you know, before I graduated, I was thinking I wanted to go to a good school, you know, a prestigious school. I had a couple schools in mind, uh, but I was glad that I was accepted to NSU, and I'm happy to say that I'm also a graduate of NSU. Uh, I, received my, I received my bachelor's there in uh, psychology, and my master's degree in human resource management. And now I work for NSU in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. I have a great career there. Uh, very successful, and that is my wish for you as well. I want you all to be successful in the college experience and after. Okay? Uh, so let's get started. Here at NSU, we are the Sharks. So we are a private, selective research university. Believe it or not, it's right across the street on College Avenue. <laughs> but it's uh, a lot of opportunities there. So how does NSU look like? Um, let's talk about our faculty members. So our faculty, our, our faculty members are highly credentialed associates. Most of them have doctorate degrees, teaching in the fields that they uh, earn their degree in. Uh, our class sizes are very small as well. It's an average of 15 students per class. Uh, what are what are our popular programs? Anybody have an idea? Yes, that's a top one. Very competitive. Business, yep. Marine science. Yes, one of the best in the nation. <laughs> Marine science. Uh, but yes, we are world renowned for those uh, programs that you said, but also for our medical school, our dental school. Uh, we are the only school that has optometry here in Florida. Okay. Uh, we have a wonderful law school. And we also have a great undergraduate student population, which is about medium size. So we're looking about 5,000 students, full-time students. Uh, so we have sharks that come uh, from all 50 states, uh, all over 100 countries around the world. But mostly what makes NSU special is our students that want a quality education in a supportive environment. Um, so here at NSU, I want to welcome you to do a campus tour. Um, we have a cutting edge research going on here with over 200 projects. And most of all, I want to talk about our unique academic opportunities, which I'll discuss in detail later. Okay. So you may have questions, you know, is NSU, should I apply to NSU? Will it be a right fit for me? Will I be admitted here? Will I graduate? Will I be able to get a job after I graduate? Um, so I'll do my best to answer those questions throughout the presentation. I want you all to feel comfortable to raise your hand and ask me questions as well. Okay. So right here, you're looking at the eight different academic colleges at the undergraduate level, okay? So you're looking at uh, natural sciences, oceanography, that's biology, chemistry, marine science, psychology, that's my favorite, uh, <laughs> healthcare sciences, that's for, if you're interested in like respiratory therapy, uh, health science degrees, cardiovascular therapy, and we're also going to start a college of engineering computing program in this coming uh, year. Actually, next year, so that's exciting. Uh, and we also have over 50 majors in all of these colleges here. The great thing about NSU is that you can double major and also add a minor. So let's say you're interested in psychology and you want a background in international studies. Uh, you can do that here. Okay. Um, now, as far as our unique academic opportunities, uh, we have something called a dual admission program. And you're probably wondering, what is that? <laughs> so dual admission is the opportunity for students when they're accepted here in the undergraduate program. We reserve a seat for you in the graduate school of your choice. That way you can enter when you're ready in the future. All right? So we have over 10 different areas for dual admission. Because it's a competitive program, I want to, I want to urge you to apply early. So let's say, sounds like most of you are graduating next year. Uh, let's say you're thinking of applying for fall 20, uh, fall 2016. Uh, yes, the dual admission application must be in by February 1st, 2016. Okay. 
And if you're thinking for coming in for winter, I came in for winter, the uh, deadline would be November 1st. Okay. And one thing I want to discuss is our beautiful Honors College. All right? NSU created our Honors College for students who want to continue to engage themselves and challenge themselves. Uh, the great thing about the Honors College is that students will receive special recognition and scholarships. Uh, you will also have access to special social activities, academic workshops, and have access to special study abroad courses. All right, so in the Honors College, the class size will be even smaller than 15 classes. You'll, you'll be able to have a more supportive relationship with your faculty members, and they will guide you with your, not only with your homework in the class, but our faculties, our faculty members are doing research, so they would want to encourage you to help them with their research. And if you have an idea uh, on a research idea, they will also sponsor you and support you. Okay? So it works two ways here. Okay? So the courses are going to be out of the box. So a lot of them will be related to your major, and some will not be related to your major. Um, some courses involve travel study courses, for example, uh, we have marine science students who go to the Galapagos Islands and study marine life there. Okay. Um, also, very similar to the Bar College Honors Institute, you will have access to early class registration. So that's another perk there. Um, and we also have uh, assistance for publishing your work. So when you do research at NSU, you'll have the opportunity to present your work in our annual student symposium and also publish your work. Okay? So the shark life, what does that look like? Well, it looks like a lot of things. <laughs> uh, think of college, think of NSU as a, you, it is what you make it out to be. So as much hard work as you put in, that's what you'll get out of it. So when you're in the college process, think in any school, although I would love for you to come to NSU, get involved with clubs, not just academics. Okay? Uh, so at NSU, we have over 100 clubs and organizations. And they range from multicultural, religious clubs, uh, national honor societies, community service. So think of NSU as a high research university and community service university, because that's what we're really involved in. So as an NSU student, you will have the opportunity to do both. If you want to live on campus, great. We have resident halls here for you. Um, other communities we have, we have 5K runs. Last Saturday, we had an autism. Uh, speaks now, we're supporting them. Uh, and also Shark Palooza, that's where you get to access all of our clubs and organizations. Okay. Any questions so far, guys? All right, and if you want to do sports, we have we have a wonderful sports here. We have 17 different teams. Uh, NSU has been nationally known for, win uh, for winning national championships in men's and women's golf and rowing. Okay. And if you don't want to be competitive, we have intramural sports where you could just compete with your uh, local classmates. So one thing also I want to encourage you to get involved besides our clubs and organizations is our wonderful career development office. Our career development office could help you secure internships. Okay? And this is important to do while you're a student, not after. Okay? Um, so just to give you an idea of what our students have done, uh, different internships, we had students go to Ecuador to do physical therapy, uh, shadow some doctors there. Fun fact about NSU, we are the training facility of the Miami Dolphins. Uh, so there's a possibility you may be able to uh, shadow the team, shadow the athletic trainers. Um, we have a art museum in downtown uh, Fort Lauderdale. And also beyond internships is, uh, we have sharks around the globe. So this is part of our, in, our internship programs and our travel study programs. You could travel to Greece, for example, let's say you're interested in sports medicine, maybe you're interested in environmental science and want to go to the Amazon. Or maybe, you're in, you're, maybe you're a history major and want to go to Europe and study history over there. So you're probably wondering, you know, will I be successful at NSU uh, and will I be successful after I leave college? I want to share with you a couple success stories. Um, we'll start with Max, Mr. Max Hyman. He graduated in 2011 with a Bachelor's of Science in Legal Studies. Uh, the fun fact about him is 
He is now currently clerking at a federal court of appeals in New York City. So here at NSU, he got to do an undergraduate internship. He worked as a legislative aide in New Jersey for financial executive internship. And then he went to get a Juris Doctor degree in Washington and Lee University. So he credits NSU for helping him with his critical reading skills and helping him uh, showcase the human side of the law. And so he's doing pretty, pretty good. He's, he stayed with the legal studies profession. And also Lauren Butler, she got her Bachelor's of Arts degree in theater. She is now a business owner of Yes Lemonade in California. So you're probably wondering, how did that happen? You know, a theater major, why is she doing business now? So I'll tell you a story. Uh, <laughs> so Lauren, she got her Bachelor's of Arts degree here. Then she went to UCF and got her Master of Fine Arts. So she did do her music experience. She toured, she did a two-year international tour with Masuba Children's Theater in Montana. Then she decided, you know, she wanted to open her own business. So she credits our, our program here for teaching her theater skills, acting skills. And believe it or not, you need that in the business world. When you want to market your product, when you want to sell something, you need those acting skills. So she credits NSU for giving her those skills. Right. And then we have Catalina Rodriguez, 2012 Bachelor's of Science Biology graduate. She's now mm -hmm. in our graduate school in osteopathic medicine. All right. She got to, uh, the fun fact about her undergraduate experience at NSU, she got to shadow a team of transplant surgeons in Austria. Okay. And, we, and NSU actually awarded her a scholarship to help sponsor that uh, travel study experience. So that experience helped her with deciding what she really wants to do with her life. She realized she did want to be a surgeon since there's so many specialties and subspecialties in the medical field. This is why getting involved in those courses is very, very important. So yes, whether it's your first job, fourth job, you know, I can assure you with, uh, as a student at NSU, you will be successful. We will provide you with that foundation for success. Let's take a look at our, at our transfer class <coughs> profile. This is the, the amount of applications we would receive typically for a semester for fall 2015. This year we received about 1,000 applications, and our entering class is only 356, okay? So we're pretty selective here at NSU. Uh, the average college GPA, we're looking at about 3.11. And yes, as far as applying to NSU, make sure, if you're applying for fall 2016, you make sure you have that application in by March 1st, okay? That's the priority date. Application materials, what do we need from you? Besides the application, do we need to see all your transcripts, official transcripts, uh, with over 24 causes that were completed? And yes, we also recommend a letter of recommendation and an essay. All right, let's talk about scholarships. This is the fun part, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, what will you receive as an NSU student? These three scholarships here are only three of our featured scholarships. We actually have more on our website, which I, wanted, I want to encourage you to look at our website to search those different scholarships. Uh, so let's talk about the Dean Scholarship. This one, you don't have to apply for. This scholarship, we will offer you when you receive your acceptance letter. So this one ranges anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000 per year. Uh, we also have the Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship. That one is $1,000 per year as well, mm -hmm. uh, per year. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, this one's a fun fact one because there's no essays for this one, there's no application. All we need is for you to send is proof of your membership that you're part of Phi Theta Kappa. All right, so the Provost Transfer Scholarship, that's my favorite one. That's the elite one for transfer students that we have in-house at NSU. This one is 5,000 per year. If you're interested in living on campus, it's an additional 1,000. Okay, so it's 6,000 per year. And just to give you a clue of what, what's needed for the requirements, the GPA minimum, we need 3.75 overall. Okay? And you also need to show that you have community service hours, minimum 75. 
but I don't want to tell you to do the bare minimum. I want to want to shoot higher. Okay? So go do 100 community service hours. Shoot for the 4.0. Shoot for the 3.85. Yes. How many students receive that scholarship every year? Provost Transfer Scholarship. Yeah. Uh, from my understanding, I believe there was about uh, 10 given for the fall 2015. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you have, if you can have like the three of them, or you only can have one. Actually, no. The all of these are, are combinable. They're stackable. So yes. Same thing applies with other scholarships. You could apply for them. Yes. When it comes to the community service hours, I'm not sure if BC has like a, a service hour log sheet. Yes. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. Yeah. Do you find that in the? Do you want to get the oval? So oval. Yeah. Um, it won't show up in your transcript, so you need to make sure you register with student life to get the like the chart or the log service down. log. Actually, yeah. Wait, if you go, it's not called overall, it's called uh, student life volunteering. If you do volunteering with them, they, you have to put your name and they actually have the hours you did. So if you, when you graduate, you can ask them, like, hey, can you do a letter? They actually do kind of a letter of recommendation with mm -hmm. all the hours that you did. Mm -hmm. um, and you can put that in the paper. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was a great question. Yes. Um, I have two questions. Yes. One for you and one for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, first, do we need service hours to graduate with honors? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Not <currently. laughs> okay. Just, mm -hmm. And um, what are the deadlines for those scholarships? Yes, good question. So the Dean Scholarship will be the same deadline as our application. Uh, the, the, pro, the same thing with Phi Theta Kappa. As long as you apply by March, by March 1st, will be considered for those two. Now, the Provost Transfer Scholarship, uh, we extended a little bit more, so it's going to be April 15. So if you're applying for fall 2016, it'll be April 15, 2016. Okay. So that's why the application is early. You want to make sure you get all your documents in, so it'll be considered for that. Okay. Yes. Do you saw um, service hours coming from your college years, or do they apply? coming from your high school service hours? Like, they actually, need your, trans and your transcripts? Yes, actually, mm -hmm. we will consider, yeah, if you have community service hours from high school, however, we do prefer that your hours are at the college level. Yeah. So if you have 75, we prefer the 75 to be college level. If you have community service on high school, you can still send us that. But it's really, on, it's really based on the college level. Community service hours. Um, volunteering in Venezuela? Yeah. Like need a letter or something. It wasn't high school. High school? Yeah. Um, you can send it to us, but again, I it has to be called as level. We hold off questions for Daryl until the very end when you can meet him and get some resources as well as our other reps next door, only because we have two more guests and sure. we need to keep uh, an eye on time. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Yeah, just see me after the presentation. Okay, so almost done here. So yes, uh, again, other scholarships we have, other financial assistance. Uh, you may be eligible for grants, uh, state grants, federal uh, grants. We have loans. Uh, we have a work study program where students can work on campus. Um, I also want to encourage you to fill the FAFSA. Uh, again, the earlier the better. So the priority date is January 1st, 2016. Okay, here's your coming for fall. Uh, for students who are Florida residents, extra financial aid packages here. We accept Florida, uh, Florida prepaid, which I have. Great. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Great support. Uh, uh, Florida resident access grants, Florida Red Futures. Uh, yes, you know, if you have any questions, we'd love to have you over. Again, across the street. <laughs> we have an open house October 10th, Saturday, 9 to 2. Okay. Uh, so that concludes the presentation. Again, folks, I'll take questions at the end, and I wish you great success here at Bright College. Make sure you graduate, and, and I love you the future after.